So immunotherapy has been studied in both the neoadjuvant and the adjuvant setting. We've seen data from the Checkmate 816 trial in the neoadjuvant setting, looking at nivolumab plus chemotherapy for three cycles, and then surgery, and then no adjuvant immunotherapy uh, was, was in place for that trial. We've also seen results from the Empower uh, 10 trial that looked at a year of adjuvant atezolizumab and the PEARLS trial that looked at adjuvant pembrolizumab uh, in surgically resected patients. And each of these trials have indicated that there is a benefit for immunotherapy in the perioperative setting. And I think it's really hard to compare a neoadjuvant trial compared to an adjuvant trial. There's a lot of differences that, that go into that, certainly. Um, neoadjuvant trial, you're treating all patients, regardless of whether they, you know, make it to surgery and recover and are able to get, you know, subsequent therapy or not. Whereas those who enroll in adjuvant trials are typically those who have had a successful surgery, who have negative margins, who uh, recover from their surgery and have a good performance status and are able to enroll um, in, in a clinical trial. So there's some selection differences um, for the patient populations enrolling on these clinical trials. Um, we did see some data at ESMO from a melanoma trial that looked at a direct comparison of neoadjuvant versus adjuvant only immunotherapy. And there did seem to be a striking benefit to the neoadjuvant uh, immunotherapy implementation in that trial. Um, even though the both patients on both arms got the same total duration of, of immunotherapy. So I, I do think there's a possibility that doing it in a neoadjuvant setting where there's more tumor present, perhaps more neoantigen exposure um, could result in, in improved outcomes for patients if you're doing a direct apples to apples neoadjuvant versus uh, adjuvant immunotherapy approach. But I, I think the, the jury's still out there. We haven't, there are a number of other trials uh, in the neoadjuvant space that have yet to read out um, that also continued immunotherapy in the adjuvant setting. Maybe hard to compare across trials, but I think it'll be important to see if there's any any subtle differences there. Um, whether that adjuvant setting immunotherapy further improves uh, the outcomes.